Here we're going to tie the Rainbow Warrior. First thing we're going to do is just get our thread started. Now we're ready to tie in the, the tail. For the tail we're just going to use some pheasant tail fibers. We're going to try to get these pheasant tail fibers that we're going to use here as straight as possible, as even as possible. What I mean by that is that we want the tips to be nice and clean and even. And we're going to tie these in so that the tips are about the length of the straighter portion of the shank, about half the length of the total shank of the fly here, the length of the fly. We're going to tie these in right on top of the hook shank, and then you can pull them to your desired length. And all we're going to do is just take our thread nice and smooth back towards the, the bend of the fly. And you can trim out the excess. Now we're going to tie in a little bit of pearlescent tinsel. You can also use a piece of flashaboo for this step as well. And we're going to take that piece of tinsel. We're going to wrap it around the fly, pulling it tight. Until I get to the thorax where I can capture the tinsel. All I'm going to do is wrap the tinsel all the way forward to the bead. Then I'm going to wrap back over the tinsel, centering it over the fly. This will now be our casing. I'm just going to leave it hanging off the, the back. We're now ready to dub the thorax. For that we're going to use a light shade of rainbow scud dubbing. This does come in two shades, a lighter and a dark. Typically I use the lighter, but the dark will tie a nice little fly, just a little bit darker. We're going to dub this nice and tight onto the thread. Mix all those colors together. Then we're going to build up a nice bulbous thorax, which means I'm going to dub it very, very round, fairly thick, but nice round bulbous thorax. This fly was meant to have a nice chunky profile at the front. Then once you've got that done, you can take that piece of pearlescent tinsel pull it right over the top. Make sure it's nice and secure. A few wraps. You can trim out the excess. Generally I like to trim out a lot of these really long fuzzies. If you like yours extra scraggly you can leave them. And what you can do is just whip finish right in front of that bead or right behind that bead in front of the thorax. That little glimmer or thread will show through, a little red tag. It's a good thing. Fish like it. And that's all there is to the Rainbow Warrior. And you can get all the materials to tie this fly at our website, in the riffle.com. Just trimming up all those fuzzies.